How's it going, YouTube? Finishing up my look at my SH Figure Arts collection at the moment. Completely out of left field, we have Common Rider Double from the show of the same name. So, of course, you can see the box blurb about SH Figure Arts. Nice picture double there, black and white, him inserting. The Joker memory into the maximum drive. Common Rider Devil done in a nice uh, olive green color. Cyclone Joker. Common Rider Devil, Cyclone Joker. Common Rider Devil, Cyclone Joker. You get the theme here? And on the back, some nice shots of double pose. Over here, you have the two halves doing something. Looking, him looking like he's about ready to kick somebody in the face, and just that random uh, signature pose, I believe. The uh, it's time, or, or it's, sorry, it's the now count up your crimes pose. Getting him open off camera because that's how I roll. You see the body, the his two scarf accessories. And his six hands, each, uh, I'll talk about the hands later. Getting him open. So, hopefully I don't break anything. Here we have the main body and the main form of Common Rider Double. And this guy just looks amazing. Uh, after four straight reviews of figure arts, there's not much more I could say besides it looks amazing. Because, hey, guess what? It looks amazing. Now... Character-wise, there's kind of too much to go into on Common Rider Double. He is two people, as you can hopefully, obviously tell. Hitari Shotaro is a hard-boiled detective, and Philip is a how do I say this geek. who I can really connect to. I mean, all he wants is knowledge, and I can uh, get behind that, or whatever the phrase I wanted to use was, relate to it. So, the toy, then, is pretty cool. As with all common writers, he has segmented eyes. Which I believe is, uh, there's a bubble here for to represent the eye, and then there's a piece of red that has the segments on it. So it looks nice. Uh, word of warning, I don't know how well you can see this, but do not hit the uh, crown. And double the W uh, head crest because I had to super glue this back on. I mean, I can see the cracks from here. I don't know if you can, but don't hit him in the head if you ever get him. It's not a good idea. If you buy this guy expensive, just don't hit him in the face. That's all I have to say. There is no mouse plate on Common Rider Double, but the uh, silver, the the dividing line is nicely recreated here, going all the way around in some nice silver. As you can see, one half is green, one half is black. For some reason, every time black is used as a main color, almost every time I mean, purple is the accenting color. 
Uh, I know, uh, Theo loves it, and apparently Power Rangers does, Common Rider does, anybody using black as the main color on something, for some reason, likes to use purple as an accent color. I don't get it, but it looks good anyway. It is very faded metallic purple, though. And then the accent color over here is gold. And you can see two different moldings on the chest. Hard to describe what they are. Kind of looks like uh, the train tracks on the Tokyo's helmet. Oh, I don't want to talk articulation yet. You can see the belt here is removable, and the memories aren't painted. But getting it back on there, it's just uh, you can see the peg hole. Peg in a hole. The lights are there to represent the green and purple. The lights, the memories give off. The maximum drive slots here, nicely molded. And all the moldings here to represent the armor. And right here, the undersuit the guy would wear. And not just the guy, but under the armor is like a skin tight suit. And you can see the textured molding here to represent that which is really nice coming down you can see the ankle cuffs again same kind of molding there you go and all the lines on the feet now I'm not sure if there's any die cast in this guy but it definitely feels like there are. I mean the ankles are cold I'm not sure Articulation wise is slightly different from the Sentai figure arts I already reviewed, but only slightly. The head, of course, is on double joints. Nice range of motion there. So you got the top joint and the bottom neck joint. The shoulders are on a different system, as you can see. They're on hinges combined with a ball joint, so nice range here this armor is on a hinge and due to the design you have a bicep swivel which is nice I do like bicep swivels I wish he kinda had the similar shoulders to Sentai figure arts combined with a bicep swivel but nothing's perfect and this kinda this is one negative I guess I'd give the mold is you can totally do that if you want I don't know why you want to but you can dislodge his shoulders gives good range for posing though of course elbows double jointed unfortunately this one is black as well I mean this one fits in because half a black suit but green and black this isn't correct unfortunately but the wrists are also on a ball joint so you got that double jointed hip I I don't mean hips I mean waist so you can get some nice motion this sculpt of armor really does allow for the posability I find hips same figure art hips they can go down and kick up are on a ball joint uh, you got a thigh swivel you got a double joint knee again unfortunately black and this piece kinda looks like well it is removable I should I should mention that but it just looks floating it looks like it's hovering and your toe is on a different series of joints it's on a hinge here it's on a hinge inward and the toe is on a joint so there's that accessory wise he doesn't have a lot as this is uh, double his base form he didn't have any weapons therefore he doesn't get any weapons in this box if I can stand him up there we go so you get two scarves
you get one for, uh, I guess, just standing there, and it just pegs into this hole back here. The thing about cyclone form is it doesn't form any weapons, but it forms a scarf. So you can do that, and you can move it however you want. It's just a ball joint. Damn ball joint. So there's that, or I guess for like finishing fight poses, you have it flying straight back. Which is kind of cool. Gives you a uh, variety in your posing. And then you have a variety of hands. You get three cyclone hands and three joker hands along with the fists he has on him. I like him with fists because, hey, he's going to fight the dope hunt. So, you get a pair of splayed open hands. I guess you could call them cry top hands. You got those. You get the posing hands in the motion of a gun, I guess. And you get these two hands molded, almost molded for a gun, but they just have one finger out and they're close to molester hands, I think. But, uh, bringing double here, give him a scarf. Complete his look. Uh, that's it for double. He's a very simple release. Kind of along the lines of like an Agito ground form. who Or similar base forms that didn't have any weapons. Uh, should you pick up this figure? Yeah, why not? I mean, if you love double and... As people know, I have a Double Driver behind me. Uh, Double's a pretty good series. The toys are definitely worth the pickup. Figure Arts Collectors, I'm going to keep mentioning them. They might pick it up. It is pretty old, but uh, it got a reissue a couple months ago, and I was able to pick that up off Amiyami. Uh, I think that wraps that up. So, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, the usual. Ask.fm if anybody's paying attention now. See ya!